culture the, these days. The, like, the artist shouldn't be able exactly to say what he or she is doing. If you can say what you're doing, you're not producing art. Art is, uh, well, you could say art bears the same relationship to culture that the dream does to mental stability. You know, your, your dream doesn't say what it's about, it just is. You can interpret it, and that's helpful sometimes, just like movie criticism is helpful. But the dream is something that extends you beyond where you already are. Mm -hmm. That's why it isn't verbal thought, it's something else. It's like a pseudopod that's going out into the unknown. That's what art is. And the artist who subsumes the artistic vision to the ideological framework is putting the cart before the horse. It's actually a sin, I would say. It's like the ultimate in creative sins to do that because you're harnessing the greater to the lesser. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you understand things and you could tell a story about what you understand. It's like, no, no, you tell a story about what you don't understand and then you pull everyone into the story. The story's an exploration in that way. And so, you know, that's why I don't really think that Ayn Rand qualifies as literature. I liked her books. Mm. I, I got into them, you know, but, but she, she knew what she was saying, and you can tell because all of her good characters are the same character. They have different bodies, but they're the same people, mm -hmm. and all the bad people are the same people, and they're all voices for a political viewpoint. And, you know, she, she does weave into that a heroic plot, and that redeems it to some degree, but she's not Dostoevsky, because what Dostoevsky did, and then he, he was the greatest novelist that ever lived, as far as I'm concerned, head and shoulders above anyone else I can think of. He didn't know the answer when he started writing. And so he'd, he'd have one character stand for one set of principles and ideas and another character stand for another and he would develop those to the fullest extent and put them in a battlefield like a, where, where he made both characters as powerful representatives of those positions as he possibly could mm -hmm. and then he'd watch the outcome, you know? So, and you're, and he, and you're taken along with that. It's amazing and th that's what a good piece of art does, a good story, a good movie, a good painting for that matter, it's more complex with paintings, but you know, the artist pulls you past where you are, even where he is. Yeah. Artists can't tell you what the hell they're up to, <laughs> you know, they don't know. They can maybe guess, but what actually what they're doing when they produce a piece of art is figuring out what they're up to, you know? So, and that's when you know that they're actually artists, they're moving beyond themselves. Yeah. So.